President Donald Trump is again pushing back on a nationwide mask mandate as the U.S. death toll from COVID-19 climbs to over 140,000 people. But federal health officials still say wearing masks will drastically slow the spread. Jennifer Johnson reports. As the U.S. reports about 70,000 new cases of COVID-19 a day, President Trump says he does not support a nationwide mask mandate. I want people to have a certain freedom, and I don't believe in that, no. And I don't agree with the statement that if everybody wear a mask, everything disappears. But the president's own health experts say the science is clear. Wearing a mask is America's number one defense against the virus. It is bizarre that we have turned the mask wearing into something political. In an exclusive interview with Fox News Sunday, the president again criticized Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert and the CDC, for, quote, being wrong about the virus. Because I've been right probably more than anybody else. And disputing figures from Johns Hopkins University showing the U.S. has the seventh highest per capita coronavirus mortality rate in the world. You have the numbers, please? Because I heard we had the best mortality rate. Death tolls are on the rise again across the country. Arizona and Florida breaking new records. The residents here are terrified. And I'm terrified for the first time in my career because there's a lack of leadership. The president is also facing battles with his own party. Some Senate Republicans are pushing back against a White House attempt to block billions for more testing and contract tracing. Democrats want $75 billion and may get support from many Republicans whose constituents demand an end to this pandemic. To date, more than 3.7 million cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in the U.S. A Kentucky couple is now under house arrest after one of them did not sign self-quarantine documents after testing positive for COVID-19. Elizabeth Lynn Scott was tested for the virus. After testing positive but without showing any symptoms, Lynn Scott said the health department contacted her. Officials asked her to sign documents limiting her travel unless she called the health department first. Lynn Scott chose to not sign the documents. Days later, the Hardin County Sheriff's Department arrived at Lynn Scott's home. She and her husband were ordered to wear ankle monitors that would notify law enforcement if they traveled more than 200 feet. Open up the door, there's like eight different people, five different cars. I'm like, what the heck's going on? This guy's in a suit with a mask. It's, it's the health department guy and they have uh, three papers for us, for me, her and my daughter. The couple says they never denied self-quarantining. They just didn't agree with the wording of the documents. Up next, an event is bringing support to local businesses and artists by bringing some color to the town of Wapaton.